Well, our weather pattern is actually trying to go more like a summer pattern. We've been basically under a ridge. It's kind of a weak ridge. We still have a little moisture pushing out of the Gulf that affects east and southeast Texas. No real chance of showers unless we can get a shower or two migrating in from the east and southeast and just catching a part of our viewing area. The main thing we're kind of watching, we see these big areas of lower pressure still push to the northeast and get, then kick to the east. The end of the week and weekend seven day, you'll notice we've got some showers in there. What it's going to take is one of these lows kick up into Canada, unleash cold air. Cold air is heavy and will sink south by latitude. If we can get some of that cold air in here in the Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle region and interact with dry line activity in West Texas, we'll set up a regime of this developing weather during the daytime and then that will migrate down towards us during the nighttime. It's a very iffy pattern because I don't know if that air is going to be cold enough and heavy enough to get this far south and set that pattern. But right now, that's why you're going to see some showers in the end of the seven day forecast. But other than that, we'll kind of watch this Gulf moisture and you'll see on satellite radar, we just don't have a great deal going on other than this unsettled weather in the uh, east and southeastern Gulf region. And again, that's going to stay primarily east of us. Satellite radar, you can see it a little east of the Interstate 45 area, and it does just get very close to the Brazos Valley down around College Station. Temperatures now have dropped into the 70s and 80s from our 90s of today. Sustained winds have dropped off from the south. We did have some wind gusts today out to around 20 to 25. Future track will be bringing in late night low clouds, bring that temperature down to generally low 70s out to the northwest. We may get in some upper 60s and then tomorrow it's clouds and heat and we'll get to clouds in the morning. We'll gradually eradicate that with the heating, get back into the 90s tomorrow, keep it pretty much dry and overnight tonight we've got an expected low of about 71. Those clouds come in late night, these winds have died down for us. Tomorrow we're back in the 90 range. Now again, these numbers are geared for the shade. All of our weather instrumentation is shaded. So every number we give you shaded, direct sunlight, you can add a couple three degrees. On the heat indices, which are going to be low to middle 90s, you still add a couple more degrees. So direct sunlight, you're going to be in that kind of heat. Also, don't forget the sunblock, protect the skin if you have to be out in the wide open faces and places. Hats, sunglasses, light colored loose fitting clothing, occasional work and play breaks, stay hydrated, check on one another and nothing live left in an automobile. No pets, no plants, no people. We need to start thinking heat safety. They say if you can't find your child, check the water, then check the car because that's where we're losing most of the children on some of these hot days and this is just the beginning of it. So we're going to still see more summer. On our seven day, it's the early morning low clouds and those clouds gradually give way to a partly cloudy sky in the afternoon. That 20% chance shower on Tuesday is mainly to the east and southeast, nothing immediately over us. That Friday, Saturday, Sunday regime of possible showers, that's due to that upper level disturbance making it into Canada. That's the way it shapes up. The heat is on, Chris. All right, Bill, thanks so much. We are gearing up for a hot 